part of my act, but I have to tell Jeff and Crystal exactly what to do about the brat dolls problem. <laughs> I literally told my children that brat dolls come alive in the middle of the night <laughs> and stab small children with forks and knives. <laughs> That's good. I need to use that one. You should. I, They're terrified. It actually took them like 10 years to figure out that I was lying. Well, I could say it could be true. <laughs> you know, they've seen Chucky. Yeah. <laughs> Not Mother of the Year. So I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't actually shake Crystal's hand when I came out here. <laughs> Do you know where handshaking comes from? Most people don't. It's literally like uh, some seven kingdoms of Westeros-style Middle Ages weapons checkery that we give each other. We are literally checking each other for weapons before we meet. That's what the handshake is for. Knights used to use it to, to like literally shake knives out of each other's hands before they greet it. So this year I totally stopped doing it. I decided to give up handshaking. Uh, not for Lent or anything stupid like that, just... <laughs> I think that I hate handshaking so fiercely because I worked for so many years in finance and I got very, very good at it, like too good at it. Like, grip my hand firmly but not too firmly. Make eye contact. Squeeze. Pump twice. This is me smiling. And that little quiver of fear you just felt in your taint. It's because I own you now. It's very disgusting, actually. It's a very disgusting thing to do. I hate it. I'm not gonna lie. It's also a very fantastic way to get germs. Do you let me rub my snotty ham fist up against your snotty ham fist? Maybe we can make some flu babies together. It's awesome. And I happen to live in a home with an 11 year old child. It's basically a daily reminder that nobody should ever touch anyone's palm, ever, for any reason. <laughs> just touch the front of your shirt up against the front of my shirt in a very brief, consensual, germ-free fashion. You know, like a hug. Just a little hug. A hug, say, uh, um, are you hiding a shiv? <laughs> Let's make sweet, 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 oh, oh. sweet. Let's make sweet, sweet, sweet capitalism together. A hug says, these are my boobs. This might actually be as close as you're going to get to them. You're totally welcome. The good news is that I don't have to worry about handshaking ever again for the rest of my life because I don't work for the man. I work for the woman. I'm an esthetician, uh, which is a fancy way of saying that I uh, am a professional Brazilian waxer. I like to give this one a little time to sink in. Because a lot of people are like, wait, what does that mean? It means I get paid literally to make witty banter with beautiful naked women all day long. Just to distract them from the fact that I'm ripping out their pubes. It's a, it's a really great job. The best one. Uh, most of my clients have me listed in their phone as the vagina whisperer. I love this. Because I'm not going to lie, sometimes I actually like... I have to like whisper sweet nothings to the little pubes to get them to agree with my tweezers. Oh my it's amazing. Um, but some other women uh, kind of give me shit for it because it's not anatomically correct. Technically, I don't wax vaginas. I wax vulvas and moms and gluteal clefts. And I'm like, seriously? Are you trying to school me on lady parts? Because, bitch, I fucking know. <laughs> I see minimum of 10 naked women a day. How many do you see? Like, really? Also, I happen to have a perfectly good vagina. And I'm not sure if you can tell from my hair or not, but I'm at least half gay. I'm a gay brit. I'm a gay brit. It's, it's totally fine. And I don't really care how much, like, Grey's Anatomy you studied. Unless you're my gynecologist. Saying the word vulva makes you an asshole. <laughs> and she says, oh honey, come get closer. Would you like to touch my vulva? <laughs> Oddly, my favorite word for the lady bits is cunt. Which is sad because you can't say cunt because saying cunt is cunty. <laughs> 
my love for that word came from the time that I was 12 years old, and my father thought it would be funny to lean over to me and say, Twat, I can't hear you. I have an ear infunction. Oh, God. Thanks, Dad. I had to look up twat in the fucking dictionary. Okay? I didn't know that. And all I can think now is that, shit, why didn't we have Google image search twat? It wouldn't have taken me this long to figure out I was gay. <laughs> but people do tend to have very interesting names for their bits, their junk. Uh, the other day I was waxing a girl for the first time. She'd never had a Brazilian before. And so, you know, I do my thing. And I get through the front half and I turn her over and put her on all fours to wax the back nine. Because God forbid I never leave anybody with a butt mullet. That would just... <laughs> Nope. So as I'm waxing on and waxing on, <laughs> but no. surprise, the butt mullet. Nobody wants that. Oh my God. So I'm waxing her and waxing, waxing on, waxing on, and, and she turns up to me and she just says this thing that I it's just rung in my head forever. She says, "Gee, I wonder when." Whoever thought it was a good idea to put hot wax on your princess parts? <laughs> and then the end off. Did you just call your pussy a princess parts? Princess parts. Now, am I fucking waxing, am I waxing royalty right now? Is or does this chick have some horrible Disney fetish that I don't know about at all? I like to imagine that maybe when she gets excited, her pussy sparkles. <laughs> And then when she comes, her jizz is like, glitter! I don't know, clown. on. I will always refer to my asshole as my stinker bell. But you know, it really got me thinking about pussies and like, okay, so like, what would a princess pussy look like? I mean, really, let's be honest. Let's talk about this. Um, and I think it would look a lot like a porno pussy. basically a butt crack that just keeps on going. It's a smile. There's nothing interesting. There's nothing complicated. It's just a crack that never ends. It's horrible. I understand why men prefer these kinds of pussies. They're very simple. They're not complicated. I mean, even waxing them is much easier for me. I get it. I totally understand why people would like one of those. Um, however, they're not as common as one would think they are. And I can tell you this because even the wives were like, I never watch porn. Come to me and apologize for not having porn of pussies. They tell me, oh, mine's just too busy. Have <laughs> 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 heard of labiaplasty? Yes. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Basically what's happening is... Like, <laughs> I'll get your pictures you later. <laughs> I'll have before and after picture right now. Because <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, a labiaplasty is basically a boob job for your pussy. It's a horrible thing. And I will be totally on board with it just as soon as men start getting ball bag plastic. <laughs> High and tight, gentlemen. That's what you want from your nut job, Sergeant. You want high and tight. I wish women would just learn to respect their vaginas. They're all so fucking beautiful. They're amazing. I mean, give me a pussy with like beautiful butterfly meat flaps. The more complicated, the better. Give me a pussy that looks like the Battlestar Galactica, the flight deck of the Battlestar Galactica. I want a mom who's not four kids out of that cockpit. And when she sleeps, like her pussy does push ups. And she can, like, bench press 50 pounds with it and crack a walnut with her labia. That is your true porn star, right there. That's what we should all be after. Uh, okay, change your subject. <laughs> Sorry. So I used to be 
a much bigger girl than I am right now. Give, I've lost about 100 pounds, give or take a Twinkie. <laughs> um, I wish that I could tell you that I've done it with like moderation and hard work and diet and exercise, but I don't actually think any of that shit works for anybody ever. So I had gastric bypass surgery. I literally had to pay a surgeon to completely give me new plumbing so that I would stop going through the Taco Bell drive-thru. Like, that's how good I am at moderation. I mean, not that I don't go through the Taco Bell drive-thru. I just do it like the rest of you, only when I'm drunk. So I'm, I'm totally digging this new body I've got. Well, new, it's been like 10 years, but okay. I'm digging this body, I love it. I can totally touch my own butthole. I'm not gonna lie, that was a very special day. This is special, special day for me. We reconnected. <laughs> but it's really, it's not all butterflies and buttholes. It's, it's fine. Uh, you can't really lose this much weight without like severely damaging your body. It's like, it's hard. I literally have twice as much skin as any human being should have. You could totally like fit me and at least one of the Olsen twins in here. <laughs> still have enough room for her purse dog. <laughs> I look terrible naked is what I'm saying. Which I know, totally fucking shouldn't matter. I mean, I can touch my stinker bell. It's awesome. <laughs> it's great. No problem. But I'm technically single and that can make for some uncom uncomfortable conversations with dudes. I always try to warn them in like, okay dude, this is the sitch. Um, like from here down, I have the body of a 73 year old woman. I'm not gonna lie. It's just not up there anymore. It's here. The tits, fantastic, no lie. They're great, they're wonderful, but everything else, you're about to fuck Betty White. <laughs> and they all say the same thing when I warn them. I'm like, oh, don't worry about it, I fuck a lot of moms. It's fine, I totally understand, I totally understand. I'm like, oh, bitch, I fuck a lot of moms. Have you fucked Octomom? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can take that bitch in a stretch mark showdown. <laughs> Easy. When I was first single, I was terrified that I'd be like stuck with a lifetime of like beer goggle sex and one night stands and it would be awful. But that was before I remembered that I might not be such a big fat girl anymore, but I can still totally fuck like one. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> not the only man to get that blowjob. <laughs> not even by a long shot. Uh, but it turns out uh, it, it really doesn't matter what you look like naked when you can crack a walnut with your labia. <laughs> Nobody really notices your lunch, ladies. 